for me. But let me tell you something that I need you to understand very, very correctly and very fast today. That because Joseph was anointed, because Joseph was on the way to the kingdom, on the way to bless him to the palace, on the way to the height that God has blessed him, attacks and oppositions we are triggered. Let me tell you something. Sometimes when you see that your neighbor or your brother or your sister or somebody in your life is attacking you, you have to say thank you for the attack because I know that your attack has no power over me but your attack is proving to me that I'm on my way to my palace. Somebody say I am on the way. I cannot hear you. You gotta let the confessor say, I am on the way to the palace, to my greatness, to my miracle, to my blessing. Say, I am on my way. You don't get what I'm saying here. Amen. You don't get what I'm saying in this flesh. That yes. God is blessing you. He revealed the blessing to you. He revealed the miracle to you. And look around you. Do you see the one that used to talk to you that is not talking anymore? Do you see the one that used to pat you on the shoulder and say, shall be well? That is not even looking at your face anymore. Have you looked recently and found out that there are many people that are sitting down to discuss about you, to understand why you are still smiling, why you are still happy? Because your favor is attracting the opposition. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Am I telling you something here? You better listen to me here. Every time that you're about to emerge, come on, some, come on, someone say, I am about to emerge. Say, I am about to show. Say, I am about to blow up. Every time it's time for you to emerge, the devil has a way of trying to make you sad, of trying to make you angry, of trying to push you down. But I'm telling you right here, do not buy into it. Do not let him do it. Because God has a destiny for you. He has a powerful way for you to go. There is a palace that nobody else can see. There is a place that nobody can take. There is a position that nobody else can take. Because your name is on it. Come on, say my name is on that miracle. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Because I can hear you confess. Say my name is on it. Say my name is written on that palace. Say my name is written on the palace. So nobody is sitting there. It's waiting for me, it's waiting for me, it's waiting for me. Come on, somebody bless the name of Jesus here. Bless the name of the Lord. Because he's waiting for me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So you see that a man, Joseph, he knew where God wanted him to go and what God wanted him to do. But look what just happened. Prior to the time he exposed the destiny, prior to the time he exposed what God wants him to be, everybody was good with him. But the moment they now notice that he's going to be greater, his own blood began to attack him. Mm. It got so bad that they planned to kill him. They eventually sold him. But why am I in this trouble? Many times I ask the Lord, why am I faced with predicaments? And he refers me back to Psalm 34. facing oppositions why are friends my real enemies 
Why are the people that should be proud of me against me? Why are the people that shall sing my praise expect my death? Why are those people that should glorify God for what he has upon me? Why are they the ones that put me down? you come to encourage me end up being the ones that discourage me I say God why is my life different and I hear the voice of God say because of favor Amen. your life is indeed different because favor is upon you. Amen. The oil of favor. Amen. The anointing of favor. Amen. The anointing to blow up in the midst of tribulations. When people can easily fail, when people can easily, easily give up, the ability for you to make it is right on you. Amen. So ask yourself, I've gone through the waters and the fire. But how come I'm still waxing stronger? How come I'm stronger than before? Yes. Every day by day, the anointing upon my life increases. Amen. Despite the attack of the devil, despite what the enemy has against me. I say, God, what is that? He said, do you understand and see that each opposition you defeat, each opposition you push back, as anointing, the anointing, it increases your favor. Amen. Opportunities are coming for you. I say, opportunity is coming for you. Because you don't know what I'm telling you right here. There's an opposition that is written concerning you. There's something that God has for you that nobody else has ever known. Am I talking to somebody here? Why am I in this? For the Bible says in the book of Psalm 34 verse 19, it says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord God will deliver him from all. Oh, Not from one. Come on, somebody. Rise up and say with me. Say, maybe are the afflictions of, of mine. I didn't tell you to read the Bible. I say, read the God. I said, many are the afflictions of mine. Yeah. But the Lord God will deliver me from all of them. Not one of them. Come on, say, say, not one of them. Not just in the morning time. Not just in the noon time. Not in the night time. All the time. He will deliver me from all of them. So if you are still in that trouble, I got a message for you. He did not promise to deliver you from one trouble and not the other one. He will deliver you from the next trouble and the next trouble. Because I know that he will deliver us from all of them. Am I talking to somebody here? Come on, shout yes. Because I know that a devil lays wait. He lays wait. He's waiting for your downfall. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Every time men and women are waiting for me to fail, ah. I testify. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Are you being mocked right now? Are you being waited upon to fail? But I've come to tell you that you are about to testify. You are about to testify. You are about to testify the goodness of God, the power of Jesus, the promotion He gave you, the healing upon your life and upon your bones. God is about to blow you up. Somebody say, God is preparing a table before me in the 
presence of my enemies. Come and say, God is preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I want you to get this message viral. Get your phones. Begin to copy. How do you do, guys? Do that. Begin to share. Because I want somebody to know that there is hope in your in your affliction. There is hope in your sickness. There is hope in your trouble. There is hope in that thing that makes you wake up in the night. There is hope in that barrenness. Because very soon a testimony shall come out of it. Somebody shut your eyes. Am I talking to somebody here? I told a lady two days ago. I say you're pregnant because every time she sees me, she said, I know you have power. Pray for me. This time I say, I will not pray for you huh? because you're pregnant. She said, What do you mean? I say, Because I know something that you don't know. Huh? Because every time huh, the barrenness huh, try to stop you, huh? let me tell you what happens. Huh? You pray for one child. Huh? God is about to give you two children. Huh? You pray for two children. Huh? You're about to have four children. Huh? Because that's how our God huh, is. Huh? Because he gives you more than you ask. Huh? More than you pray. Huh? More than you say. Rasha huh? Kayalaba. Blessed be Jesus here. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus in this place. Look at the life of Joseph. Who ended up being the second in command in a foreign land. Who happened to be the second in command in a foreign country. The man that was in the pit. The man that was disregarded. The man that nobody cared about. The man that brother M, brother B sold. The man that was God foolish. The man that nobody was able to help. Where there is no help, God is your help. Where there is no man, God is your man. Where there is no help, God is your help. Where there is no deliverance, God is your deliverance. Where there is no job, God is your employment. Somebody shut your eyes. Am I talking to somebody here? Because there is nothing impossible. You got to learn to carry yourself in God. To walk majestically with no shame and with no reservation because you know that God is going to do it anyway. I say God will do it anyway. Come on shout say God we do it anyway. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? The Lord is very part in the table. Do you understand this? This is this message. This is this message. He prepared a table before you that is scheduled. Before you that is written off. Before you that has no support. Before you that has no help. Before you that has no solution to your problem. He said, I prepare a table before you in the presence of those that said no to God's yes. Because nobody can change the yes of God in your life. Say no man can change the yes of God in my life. Somebody shout yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh God, come on, sit down. Sit down in this place. Because I know there is power.